Good morning, everybody. It's time to talk about my best friend and possibly a new best oh, friend for you, gosh. courtesy of the Animal Rescue League of Iowa. Always excited to have William Wallace join us because he always brings in something interesting to show off and explain because it's not just about cats and dogs that need forever homes. We have some other wonderful creatures uh, that you guys have is courtesy the of the Animal Rescue animal League. Ever. <laughs> <laughs> Michelle's never seen the chinchilla. I haven't been here when the chinchilla Oh, I here. love it. Okay, so tell us who you brought in today. Yep, so this is Ripley and she is a uh, chinchilla. Um, we tend to get a, a fair number of these guys into the shelter now. They're becoming a lot more popular as pets and a lot more readily available. Um, you will see them at some of the pet stores, you know, pet goats, pet smarts, whatnot, um, which means, of course, that more people have them, so we end up with more of them. Um, these guys are pretty neat pets. They're maybe not a starter small critter the way like a guinea pig or a hamster might be. Right. Um, they're a little bit more involved, but they're still pretty easy to care for. Um, but the big things that are kind of special about these guys is like you can't get them wet. So if they need a bath, what you do is you actually get them a uh, dust bath. There's a very fine uh, dust that they'll roll around and that's how they kind of keep oh. themselves clean. If you get them wet, actually, their fur, which is super, super soft, is also super dense. So if they, they get wet, they can actually air that yeah. out and dry, so it'll actually mold. Um, so it's super important not to get mm. them wet. You just have to, nice. it, it, wonderful uh, pets, but you just have to know what you're getting into. Yep. yep, basically just things like that, and they like a little bit cooler environment. So sometimes that's a, a consideration you certainly have to have with these guys here in, in Iowa during the summer, for example, right. keeping them cool. Do they like to um, like lots of interaction and to play, or are they kind of a little bit more? I think quiet? they're pretty social animals. Okay. Um, these guys do like to sometimes uh, live communally with other chinchillas. Um, this particular one isn't a super fond of other animals, um, so she would be better by herself. Uh, but certainly, they like interaction with people as well. You know, bring them out, give them attention like this, um, let them romp around outside of a cage, that kind of thing. Do they, they need a that. fairly good size am uh, amount of room to to roam around in? What kind of? Oh yeah, these guys can jump pretty far. I've seen one make a jump of upwards of six feet before. Um, so certainly if they want to, they can jump out of uh, uh, smaller enclosures or anything like that. So I recommend giving them a good sized enclosure, maybe multiple levels with uh, plenty of wheels, things like that to okay. run around on, burn some of that energy. What would you consider oh a chinchilla? To me, it's like part rabbit, part squirrel, part mouse. Um, it's like, it's a little bit of hodgepodge. Of so they are rodents. Actually, the closest thing that you commonly see as pets uh, are gerbils. They're like a very big fuzzy gerbil. Okay. Oh, well, it's Ripley, absolutely adorable. You are, yes, you are adorable. Uh, and animals like this available at the Animal Rescue League. Yep, uh, these guys are primarily going to be up at our main location, uh, but we'll have small critters like our rabbits and our guinea pigs out at our West Des Moines location as well. And okay. you do have one of them that is available right now looking for a, a forever home. Yep, we also have correct. another one that we want to talk about, a uh, cat, I yep. believe. Yep, so this is Mindy. She is one of the Aww, cats that we Mindy. have available for adoption. Of course, oh, we have a great sweet. many of them. She's a little bit older cat. Uh, she has a front declawed. Uh, cat as well. Uh, she is looking for maybe a little bit more mature home, uh, one where there's not going to be young children maybe. Um, she does tolerate other cats, but would probably be best as a single cat Single as well. cat. Okay. Keep that in mind and hopefully we can get Mindy a forever home. But let's talk about, because you were talking about special needs uh, or things to consider if you have a chinchilla and how to keep them uh, clean. Let's talk about bunnies, because they also have a certain protocol that you want to think about. Yep. Um, so with the rabbits, uh, one thing that we offer to kind of help with caring for them is we have something called our bunny spa and piggy pampering. Um, so what that is is people can bring in rabbits or guinea pigs and okay. we'll do things like nail trims, which are important because of course they do have nails that constantly grow just like dogs or cats do. Yep. Um, so we help keep those trimmed down. Um, also things like a little bit of brushing out and grooming, maybe some ear cleaning, things like that. Um, they're all services we offer. All the services are five dollars per animal. Uh, that event is going to be uh, on uh, Saturday, November 30th uh, at our main location from noon to two. Um, and it is one of those where you can either register online or we do take walk-ins. Okay, wonderful. Yeah, Just kind of that's a nice service because we've had a assistance. rabbit and with the kids and that it's nice to be able to go. It can be a little overwhelming that, sometimes mm -hmm. for especially them. the nail clipping. Yeah. And <clears throat> and that's so. leave it to the experts there right. and for a very reasonable price yes. by the way um but let's talk about kind of a need that happens not only with our animals that we need to adopt but other things that are needed around the holidays you guys are able to assist with that or we are able to assist that with that with a tree of life correct yep so starting on the first of december running through that entire month we are running our uh, annual tree of life uh, kind of promotion as it were. Um, we're basically we're just seeking donations of anything you can provide. Um, you know if it's new items that's obviously awesome but of course we'll, we'll take anything. 
um, and we'll take those donations at any of our locations. But what will happen is we'll collect all those and we, unless we have a, a, an express need, we'll actually kind of save them till the end of the month so they can all build up and then at the end we'll take pictures of all the donations we had, all the gifts for the animals. Um, and then we'll actually kind of sort those out and they'll all get to go back to the animals in the shelter. Very nice. What are some of the things that you're probably most in need of on a regular basis? Oh, well, I mean, we always go through food and like cat litter and whatnot. So those are always going to be things that we'll, we'll take really in kind of food. But the, the higher value stuff, like some of the, the maybe dye free stuff is, is always really nice or kitten food. Um, but of course, toys are always nice as well. If people want to know a, a good idea of what you might need, obviously anything is welcome. Uh, is there a way to get a list of some things that you're seeking out at this Yep, if you actually go to our uh, website at arl-io.org, uh, we do actually have a link for this particular event, and it shows you all the different locations where you can drop off uh, donations, and then also has a good list of things that uh, we are looking for. Wonderful. Okay, so as we're all getting into the holiday spirit, we want to think of our animal friends at the same time, and as we've seen recently in the headlines, uh, there is always a need uh, with the great work that the Animal Rescue League is doing on a regular basis basis. William, always great to see you and especially Ripley, when you bring nice in your job. chinchilla She's friends. sweet. Isn't that great? Yes. Oh, yeah. Always uh, something amazing happening at the Animal Rescue League. Please check out their website so you can learn more about the great activities going on <laughs> or if you would like to make a donation to help them in their great efforts, uh, you can always find out what they're up to at arl-iowa.org.